What's going on everybody? Today I pretty much just wanted to talk about uh, photo stitching and how to easily do it in Lightroom. And there's a ton of different reasons why you may want to stitch your photos together. Um, you can do it for panoramas or I, I mean there's just endless options really. <laughs> but um, what I usually use it for is just drone photography and stitching together um, photos in a vertical panorama. Um, and I'll kind of show you more of what I mean in a second when we get into Lightroom. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and let's just jump right into it. So I've gone ahead and already imported some different photos that I want to create panoramas with um, and I want to stitch together. Um, to start off with, um, we're just going to talk about these four photos uh, down in this left hand corner here. So. As you can see, uh, these four photos are basically just a pan up um, on my DJI drone um, of this rock in New Mexico. Each photo was taken, a little bit pan up, taken, a little bit pan up, taken. And when you are taking photos like this, at least when you're on your drone, you want to include a bit of that last photo you took so the computer can actually analyze um, similar objects in the photos and it's able to tell where that image sits in the panorama and all you're going to do to get started with this is you're just going to hold command and select all of these photos and i've already done so and then once you get all of them selected um, you're going to right click and go to photo merge and just hit panorama so it's going to take a second to load here but once it does uh, you're going to see a few options and uh, we'll just go ahead and we'll click on spherical just to start out with and I'll kind of explain the differences between them. Um, so as you can see this has cropped it a little bit differently. Um, so here you can kind of see the horizon line is a little bit curved. Um, and then cylindrical what you'll see is a little bit the same. Um, the horizon line is pretty curved. So what I've found with drone photos is if you use perspective, it actually keeps that horizon line pretty straight most of the time. And so, at least for drone photos, I usually just use the perspective one. Um, but like, sometimes it does depend on what I'm doing. So sometimes it looks better uh, using the cylindrical one, and sometimes it looks better using spherical. But um, yeah, like most of the time, perspective does make it look the best. And then another cool thing is Lightroom can just auto crop it um, so you get your basic crop down. I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, once you get all that together um, you can actually do auto settings if you want and as you can see it just applied how the computer thinks the photo should look. Um, usually I don't do this I kind of just prefer to edit my own photo but um, that is an option so we're going to unselect that and go ahead and merge and it's creating up here in the left hand corner and depending how many photos you've selected and how many photos you're merging this can take between like 30 seconds or two minutes it, it really just depends on how many photos you've selected um, and when we get into that more you'll see it's gonna take a little bit longer um, but for the most part uh, your photo has been merged now you can go in and do whatever edits you want to it, um, you know, add your S curve or um, different colors. Just go in and make those uh, edits as you want. But uh, that's as far as we're gonna go with this one. Um, and now let's move on to the next. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip those ones and we'll move on to these ones. Uh, this, this is from Lombok, Indonesia. And this is nine photos, I think. Yeah. I'll do the same thing, merge, panorama, and I think this one, my guess is it's going to look best in perspective. So we're just going to undo the auto crop and you can kind of see, um, so this is spherical, uh, we'll go cylindrical first. That's cylindrical, <laughs> uh, and you could, I mean you could even try and boundary warp it, but still it just looks like it almost looks curved along here uh, it just yeah it looks crazy so 
So we're gonna bring that back down and go to perspective. And boom, I think that looks pretty good. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and auto crop that. And as you can see, our horizon line is nice and straight. Um, that's, that's generally how I do it. As long as the horizon line is straight, um, I usually consider it good. And I go ahead and just click merge. And these have all been drone photos, but you can actually, I mean, you can do the same thing with just regular photos. And it works best if you're using a tripod because you want the camera to be in the same place uh, while you're taking the photos. Um, and this is just so this software has an easier time um, stitching it where it's able to identify different uh, pieces of the photo better because it's been taken from the same perspective. So as you can see, we can actually zoom in here pretty pretty far. Um, and it's it's in pretty good focus, honestly. Um, you can see these buildings are a little bit warped here. This is a little bit curved. Um, but you really can't tell uh, when you zoom out. Um, so this is a weird crop. I mean, you can you can do 16 by 9. You just drop it down. You can do a 4 by 5 crop for Instagram, which might look a little bit better like that. Um, and then yeah, just go ahead and do your your edits. Anyway, that's that's how it works for drone photos, and that's usually what I generally use it for. But like I just said. You can use it for photos too. I'm sure this lighting looks insane right now. <laughs> but like I said, you do need to use a, a tripod because the camera needs to be in the same uh, place. If you're interested in seeing like me actually being outside and the process of taking photos, I would be happy to put together a video like that. But I've pretty much just been trying to think of ideas that I can kind of create around the house because it's kind of a crazy time right now. But if you want to see a video like that in the future, um, just leave a comment down below. And if you guys have any other questions about stitching photos together, um, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, other than that, I hope this lighting doesn't look too crazy, even though I know it does, because I can see my hand shadow through my computer screen, uh, which is not ideal for lighting, so <laughs> uh, that's okay. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Later. Hope this wasn't way too long.